residential streets have once again become a battleground in Belfast. Any debate about parades, culture or identity lost in violence. With the police once again the target of frustrations. But so far the trouble has not been on the same scale as last night when large crowds had to be forced back by police. The Parades Commission made a ruling that this march would not be allowed to pass the Nationalist Ardoin area of North Belfast. But the police had to enforce that decision and many officers were injured. And Northern Ireland's Chief Constable believes the Orange Order must bear some responsibility after calling for protests. Some of their language was emotive and having called thousands of people to protest, they had no plan and no control. And rather than being responsible, I think the word for that is reckless. Orange men claim they were not allowed to walk the disputed 300-yard stretch of road because Republican violence followed last year's parade. The Democratic Unionist MP Nigel Dodds was among those knocked unconscious during this year's trouble involving loyalists. The Orange Order called for peaceful protests um, and they were quite clear that they didn't want violence. In fact, they made it very clear in their statement that whilst violence, Republican violence, had stopped the parade, violence would not get it started again. Hundreds of police officers had already been brought into Northern Ireland from other parts of the UK ahead of the parades. They've now been joined by hundreds more after last night's trouble. I hope now in the cold light of day that common sense will prevail, that people will recognise that uh, we have to find solutions. There have also been peaceful protests by unionists keen to show their anger, much of it targeted at the police. The police were being attacked last night because they instigated a fight and when people are attacked that uh, the adrenaline kicks in and you have a fight back and you move out of the road and that's simply what happened. That doesn't just no, yeah, I'll, violence, I'll, I'll not, it? I'll not condone violence but I'll refuse to condemn what happened last night. And again some are ignoring calls for calm in a city where flags have become a symbol of fury and parades a source of division.